Hello everyone, and welcome to another beer review. Christ, it's hot, seriously. I'm, I'm sweating it from every orifice, I really am, I'm telling you. Telling you, I'm like a North African tourist, sitting on a best way inflatable. Right. Problem is, I've got a lot of few. Well, I've got a few stouts that I actually still do, and the weather's just not stout weather. <laughs> it just really isn't stout weather. But luckily, just now I've got a Lisbon lager to do. Thank God, which is the Et Colina um, Brewery. It's from. Um, well, it says it's 5.2 percent. It's 34 IBUs. It says Florida shines passionately through the city. Florida is Lisbon's elegance in a bottle, a lager that shouts freshness while exhibiting a malt character and floral aromas. Apparently so. And uh, I'm trying to see where this is from. It's from Lisbon. There you go. So it's the Lisbon Lager from Lisbon. That's handy, isn't it? But you can see 34 IBU, so there should be a bit of bitterness in this. So there should be, that's up around about kind of, uh, if I was North Kel, kind of levels of IBUs. There you go. So let's get it poured. <sighs> there we go. I tell people on the podcast, there's a, a slight opaqueness to it. It's not completely clear as you can see, but a nice kind of, nice kind of golden colour, so it is. Smell-wise, getting golden syrup, and uh, a little bit of hops there, and of uh, citrus. So, uh, but with the, the malt, giving a kind of sweet kind of citrus tones. So, let's see what it tastes like. It's actually quite nice. Just, it's too hot. It really is, it's just too hot. I was in the metro this morning. I need the Portuguese, I stand there sweating like burgers or all, you know. Yeah, so probably the time I didn't look like a tourist, tourist because everybody was bloody sweat. News was just me. But yes, anyway, it's a quite a nice beer. There is a bit of citrus there. There is a bit of citrus, but on the good side of it, it doesn't kind of linger. And it does kind of dissipate quite quickly in the aftertaste. But there's plenty of malt there as well. A nice sweetness that goes there with that as well. And overall, on a day like today, which I think is around about in the 30s now, it's just perfect. It really is. It's just... Seriously. I'm looking forward to doing these stouts, but I'm not looking forward to doing these stouts. Stout? Touts? Touts? Stouts, because... Uh, no. <laughs> Seriously. The beer's good. Well, there's not exactly the best for drinking these type of beers. Yeah, it's a hard life, isn't it? Right. Let's break down these flavours. Starts off with a nice kind of golden syrupy uh, malt flavour. And it's nice, it's quite, quite a rich one, actually. It is, it's quite nice, and then you've got a nice level of sweetness there and a nice bit of grain. You go on to the mid tongue, and everything is roughly the same, but then you start getting the accents of the citrus at the start of the mid tongue, and it starts moving up through, it just starts ramping up a bit. 
to the point is when you get to the end of the big tongue, you're starting to get some bitterness coming in, which can uh, transcend over to the back of the mouth and the aftertaste. But overall, they kind of dissipate fairly quickly. And there's no real kind of long lingering flavour, especially from the citrus. And there's no pine either, so all that's good. So overall, it's actually quite a nice, refreshing beer. That's what it is. Really, it's quite nice. <sighs> what would I give this out of 10? Well, after your mouth becomes acclimatised to it, the citrus and that little kind of golden sweetness kind of changes a little bit. And it just gives you that kind of little feel of kind of mandarin oranges, you know, that kind of slightly sweeter kind of uh, small kind of Spanish oranges, that type of thing. Maybe Jaffa's, whatever you want to call them, or even more towards kind of slightly um, kind of clementines kind of uh, tangerines but it does, it's actually quite nice because once your mouth gets acclimatised to it the citrus kind of dies down a bit and starts working more with the sweetness and it does, it just gives you a kind of slightly sweet kind of orange kind of tinge to it which is actually quite nice and quite refreshing especially today God, look at me man, seriously so what would I give this out of 10? Well, I still remember. Um, no, that's actually quite nice. This works. And it's perfect for this weather. It really is. It's not as boring and as bland as lager. Nice bits of flavour, nice bit of malt. And even the citrus is working out because it's more like a kind of a a sweeter orange and yeah it's very nice I'm gonna give it a six and a half quite easily a six and a half I'm kind of trying to remember what the price was I think it's roughly about two euros 49 um I've actually got one it's actually two euros 99 coming up yeah I just pushed that boy out you know just threw caution to the wind and went crazy so it is absolutely crazy like a lottery winner in there so it was <laughs> so yeah, it's a six and a half out of ten. It's uh, 5.2%, 34 IVUs. It's roughly about two euros forty-nine. Thanks for watching. Cheers, and bye for now.